welcome let us look at how to know or to identify the physical states of reactants and products so the physical states we have four of them we have the solid s liquid l gas uh, gas g and then aqueous aq so these are the four physical states that we have but uh, it really gives so many students a problem and a challenge on how which one to put s which one to put l which one to put g and aqueous especially aqueous liquid and uh, gas for gas is, uh, is obvious so let us see how do you know which one should be put where so there are things you must know for metals if you see an element is a metal i hope you know metals all metals are in solid form except mercury which is in liquid form but most metals are in solid form so metals for example when you see zinc magnesium sodium all of them you should put the status as s potassium aluminium it should be s so for metals all of them they are s as solids like carbon you know carbon charcoal is a solid so when it comes to gases like oxygen chlorine so you should know those are gases and then you put g liquid is majorly used when we are talking about water water we indicate the status of water as a liquid uh, and when the acid is high concentrated like sulfuric acid which is concentrated we also use l for the liquid now what about the aqueous very good uh, before i move from solids also i've talked about metals and the solids like carbon what about zinc oxide so metal oxides metal oxides all of them are solids metal oxides if you're talking about zinc oxide magnesium oxide aluminum oxide all of them should be in solid form all of them what about hydroxides sodium hydroxide so hydroxides what about hydroxide what is the state symbol or the physical status of of hydroxides hydroxides these are called soluble bases because these are insoluble bases most oxides are insoluble that's why they are in solid form so sodium hydroxide magnesium hydroxide potassium hydroxide all of them are aqueous why they are soluble in water right therefore if you see an hydroxide it is soluble in water so it is aqueous you must you have to master that for hydroxides aqueous for oxides solid i said the gases it is simple if you know this one is a gas it should be indicated as a gas now there are compounds you find like sodium chloride so we have sodium chloride which is a solid the one we use at home for vegetables and uh, food there is a food as additive but sodium hydroxide if you are told a solution so a solution of sodium chloride because if you have been told sodium chloride solid then it should be s sodium chloride solution if it is a solution it should be in aqueous because sodium chloride is soluble in water right so sodium chloride magnesium sulfate this can be a solid or can it be in aqueous so it depends if you are told whether it is a solution or a solid if it is a solid you put s but now yes you are writing an equation for example you are writing sodium hydroxide plus sulfuric acid which will form sodium sulfate plus water because it is an acid and a base so i've said hydroxide is in aqueous that's right uh this is a dilute so it is an aqueous dilute acids it is aqueous 
Now, this is sodium sulfate. Now you ask yourself, which one will I write? Is it, uh, this one is a solution reacting with a solution, therefore this one should be in a solution. So this one is aqueous. This one is a liquid. This is, uh, they are in solution form, therefore they should be aqueous. Now, there are some salts. So like I said, we have salts. We call carbonates. We have salts we call sulfates. We have salts we call chlorides and nitrates. Right? So all carbonates, most carbonates are in solid form. So all you should know that all carbonates are insoluble are insoluble in water. If they are insoluble in water, they don't dissolve, it means that they form a white precipitate and they are solids. So they are solids. So all of all of carbonates are insoluble in water. So therefore when you see a carbonate you should put S except except is poqua except sodium carbonate Sodium carbonate is in aqueous form, potassium carbonate, and ammonium carbonate. So whenever you see ammonium carbonate, sodium carbonate, and potassium carbonate, oh, this one should be aqueous. But the rest of the carbonate, magnesium carbonate, zinc carbonate, they should be S. The status should be S. I have said that all of them are insoluble except the three, this three. So that's how you know. So if I write an equation like this, zinc, zinc, chloride plus sodium carbonate. Now this is a double decomposition where they are going to interchange the cations. So therefore the zinc will take the carbon here. The carbonate and the sodium will take the chloride. So we we'll have zinc carbonate plus sodium uh, sodium chloride. Now the question is, how do you know? I have said for carbonates, all of them they are S, they are solids except sodium. So whenever you see sodium potassium carbonate, you put aqueous. Zinc carbonate is not among the three, therefore it is a solid. That's what I wanted you to see. Next one. All chlorides are soluble in water. They dissolve in water, all of them, except. That is what you will master and it will be very helpful to you. So which one that are not soluble in water, except silver chloride and lead chloride so silver chloride lead chloride they are white precipitate they are solids the rest if you see magnesium chloride sodium chloride aluminium chloride all of them they are, they are aqueous but these two whenever you see them in an equation just put s I hope I'm helping you. Next, all sulfates are soluble in water. They dissolve in water to form a colorless solution. All of them have marked the word or, but except. So maturely, most of them, they are soluble. There is an exception. So master the exception and it will be well with you. Which one are the exception? The exception is barium sulfate, lead sulfate, and calcium sulfate. So these three, they are in solid form. They are in solid form. So whenever you see an equation, you are writing an equation and you are obtaining barium sulfate as one of the product, lead sulfate as one of the product, calcium sulfate as one of the product you should always remember that this one they are insoluble but what if i am writing sodium sulfate 
Sodium sulfate is not among these three, therefore it is an aqueous. The rest, talk of magnesium sulfate, zinc sulfate, all of those, they are aqueous, except these three. Very important. For example, lead nitrate plus, uh, plus sodium plus sodium sulfate. Now you see I am using sodium sulfate. What will be the status here that we will see? So here we, we are going to form lead sulfate plus sodium nitrate. Sodium nitrate. So let us begin to indicate the physical status of each. For nitrates, all of them, or there's no exception, they are aqueous. All of them, for nitrates, all of them, they are aqueous. All salvates are aqueous except barium, calcium, and lead. Therefore, this is not calcium, this is not lead, this is not barium, therefore it is aqueous. But this one is S because it is lead sulfate, and this one is an aqueous. So when you know this information, you won't, lo wrong. you won't go wrong. Lastly, all nitrates. Nitrates is the one which you find written a metal plus this one. Sodium nitrate, magnesium nitrate, aluminum nitrate. All of them are soluble. In other words, all of them are aqueous. AQ. So anytime you see a nitrate, you just don't don't think write a q as the state symbols gases we put g hydrogen g oxygen g chlorine g ammonia gas g which other gas co2 g no2 g so gases we just write c because we know this one is a gas and it should be indicated as a gas. Ah, thank you very much for learning in my channel. Thank you. Remember to subscribe. There are more videos in the description. Uh, links, links of more videos in the description. Uh, click, share to your friends.